Alrighty, so here's an update on my latest project. Um, this right here is a three bedroom house. Um, as you can see, it's pretty big. It's got a downstairs built into a hillside. Um, so I've been doing all the work, like wrapping columns. Um, I did these soffits up under here, the soffit board and these recessed vents. Ran all the electrical. So when you come in the front door here, I'm going to come in, there's going to be um, like an entry hall right here. Up here in the ceiling, there's going to be more of those soffit boards just like outside um, with a little lip up under there. It's going to have recessed LED strip lights running around. Um, I'll show you a little bit of an example as to how that looks. When you walk in, um, there's going to be a kitchen in here with a central island hood that all of the... Um, uh, like range top and all that's going to be all in here. The sink and everything is going to be over by the window right there. Um, and then step into here. And this is the dining room. Um, that's a good look. In here, there's not going to be any of those uh, soffit boards running along there. This is just going to be um, tape and textured and, uh, and painted. Um, but yeah, you can see there's kind of like a recessed lip up there. That's what those strip lights are going to be running around in. It's up in there, so it hits the roof and bounces back down and provides some ambiance. So it's looking back into the kitchen over here. And then this is the living room. The living room is going to have this same thing. You step down ceilings, except it's going to have an arched ceiling instead. Um, so this will have those same soffit boards running along here. Um, and then we have the fireplace. So the cool thing about these fireplaces, they're right now they're just wrapped in cement board, but um, it's going to have custom stonework um, around all of these features in the fireplace. The whole thing's gonna be wrapped in little pieces of custom stone. And this recess right here is for a TV. Um, they're gonna have these big stone, solid stone mantle pieces that come off of here. Um, so it's going to be a really cool feature. They're all high efficient, self-lighting, um, wood-burning stoves. Um, but yeah, so it's the living room, the dining room, and the kitchen's going to be in here. In the kitchen, uh, we've got skylights running up to um, help provide some uh, ambient light. Um, you come in here, the garage is off that way. We have the laundry room in here. Um, it's going to have a two-car garage. And then we come into the master bedroom and we're, we have another fireplace in here. It's going to have the same thing, except this is going to have like a stone ledge to sit on. And I'll show you those stone ledges right now. Um, so this is the mantelpiece for the uh, living room fireplace. That's the seating ledge for the master bedroom fireplace. And for size reference, that's about 50, 52 inches across. Um, yeah, it's going to go right down there on those big bolts. Um, and then we come in here, it's going to have a big walk-in closet. So it's going to be pretty massive. Um, we've got all of the cable and uh, ethernet um, infrastructure as well as the security camera, uh, security wiring. Um, we're going to have a step-down um, tiled shower in here, toilet there. It's going to have a big uh, jacuzzi tub under the window right here. His and hers sinks in this little recessed alcove with, you know, recessed can lighting, just like on those soffits outside. Same thing in here with the step-up. It's going to have uh, soffit boards running across the roof. Same thing here in the bedroom. It's going to have those same soffit boards running along the top of the bedroom. Um, then we go out onto the back porch for the master bedroom and we have uh, you know, we've got all this uh, tile work laid down um, same thing with the columns same soffits with the recessed uh, vents and lights uh, there's also motion detection uh, security lights in the back of the house but so then you come up onto the back patio this is just off of the living room got a nice little pizza oven in there um, gas grill. Um, we're going to have uh, stainless steel handrails um, running along the edge here, down these stairs, and then down the stairs 
down there. Um, so yeah, these uh, sliding doors are pretty cool. Um, they're pocket doors, so they slide back into the wall over here. Um, and you head down the stairs, getting the orchard set up down here. It's just going to be uh, a lot larger fruit trees once they get bigger. But yeah, um, over there, that's a custom tortoise enclosure. Um, we'll go check that out in a minute. So down here, um, this hasn't been sheetrocked yet. We're going to do this later. We have some more work to do down here. I'm going to put in a home theater system with a HD projector. Um, and <clears throat> then over here, those are the stairs to go back upstairs. In here is going to be like a little uh, gym and workout room and uh, kind of like a lounge, like a pool table and stuff down here. That's up under the whole house. I mean, it's, it's pretty far up there. It's all concrete underneath, so when you're crawling around um, doing uh, maintenance and stuff, you're not going to be crawling around in the dirt. So, anyway, stepping outside. This right here is a custom tortoise enclosure. Um, tortoise's name is Olga. She's an African spur-thighed tortoise. What's up, Olga? Hey. Hi, what's up? How's it going? Huh? That right there is Olga. You can see how big she is. She's pretty large. And then over here is the koi pond. Little trees. It's koi fish are pretty big. That white one right there is probably a couple feet long. A little waterfall up to a smaller koi pond with smaller fish in it. There's a lot of hawks around here, so you've got to have the smaller one covered, or else the hawks will get the fish. But anyway, so that is what I've been spending my time working on, getting all this squared away and up and running. Should be done with this house uh, sometime this year. But anyway, I should have some more videos coming. One of them is going to be a um, World of Warships video. Um, it's going to be a how to how to play the uh, Nasenau, which is a battleship that comes with uh, torpedoes. So it's the largest class of ship in the fleet. Uh, it's a tier six. Tier seven is the highest tier. But anyway, that'll be the next video, game video I'm going to be doing. So uh, this right here, we're still working on getting the tiles down and stuff. But anyway, all right, guys, I'll catch you in the next one.